All right, now I went in on game, okay? But Shad Moss, don't think I forgot you, little Magic Mike. Actually, I think that's the wrong movie. I think it's a. I don't know. I can't remember the name of that movie. It's been so long. No one cares. It's not even a classic. It's not like a Goonies classic. It's nothing special. You know what I mean? I remember that movie back in the day, but no one cares about it. Don't get me wrong. He probably still cashing in some royalties. But at the end of the day, I just gotta say, man. Fuck him. Because here's why, bro. He been in this game for years, bro. He been in this game since he was like, I don't know, a youngin'. And you know, it's just ridiculous, bro. Like, how you gonna be in this game this long and you ain't dropped shit? You, I mean, he dropped a, a couple songs, but let's be honest. Bow Wow's career has plummeted. At one point, he did children's videos and shit like that. And like, at that time, like, I mean, Bow Wow, like, we were all kind of young. So, I mean, he wasn't really that annoying. But now we just kind of grown up with you. And you're just like that annoying dude. All right, we just cracked the fucking phone. God damn it. But Shad Moss, now you're like that annoying little cousin that like just comes over and just like screams and then fucking steals your crown crowns and you know just slips off with your holographic blastoise and just you're a little asshole. Let's just say that, Shad Moss. And all this scamming shit is just corny, okay? And then after all this scamming shit, which I mean you've literally have like made videos and there is so many receipts on the table. Are you scamming? Like, it's not even, like, questionable at this point. You know, like, like my dick, dick's in a Tony Hawk pro skater. It's not even questionable at this point. Like, I'm just over here tapping away, and I can't even stop. But, yeah. Get it together, okay? You've been, you've been in the game for months. Years. Decades. And, you know, I don't, I don't appreciate it, man. Like, if you're going to be that motherfucker then be that motherfucker but don't be a whack ass motherfucker okay and that's what you became Shad Moss is you became the corniest rapper alive when I look up corny rappers in the dictionary I open that motherfucking shit there's a big picture of Bow Wow right beside Soldier Boy and then right beside that you got uh... no it's just y'all two it's Soldier Boy Bow Wow and then the game after starting a Twitter. Now, before Twitter, game, you wasn't that bad of a cornball, but your tweets are sending you down that path. And Bow Wow, your scamming behavior sending you down that path. Like, bro, and I heard he was going to do wrestling or whatever. Like, he was going to become like a WWE wrestler. I don't know if this is going to be true, but I mean, that's probably the best thing for somebody that caps as hard as fucking Bow Weezy. And, you know, I, I ain't mad at Bow Wow. I think Bow Wow is a pretty... Actually, I don't, I'm not going to say anything positive about Bow Wow. I think you're a short bitch. You look like the Hobbit. You look like a black Frodo. I hope that didn't come off as racist because I love my black bitches. But you look like a black Frodo. You're about two feet tall. And you, you, you got a big ass afro. I'm going to call you Alfredo. And I'm going to just say, listen, bow wow. Stop trying to scam. And anybody that is clueless to what's going on, let me break it down for you. Let me give you the math, the date, the time, the destination. Your boy Bow Weezy, a.k.a. Shad Tossed in the salad. Basically... He been out here telling people that they can get features from him for mixtapes. And guess how much he charged? He charged about a rack. $500. Now, now if I paid Bow Weezy a rack or $500, I wouldn't be expecting much. Honestly, I'm not expecting much out of that. Like, like if Bow Wow posted you on your, your timeline, his timeline, everybody would probably just hate spam you with comments calling you corny. Now... That's best case scenario, is you might get a couple fans from him posting you. But for the most part, you'd probably get some hate. You'd probably get a lot of hate. 
just just for even being associated with Bow Wow. Now, second, the other case scenario, he puts you on a shitty mixtape on some website that you're never going to see again. My teeth are looking good, baby. And yet, and that's what happened. Everyone got on that fucking mixtape site, and, uh, you know, like, it was trash. It was fucking trash. The mixtape was horrible. Because guess what? It was in some fucking website that no one was ever going to click. So imagine you pay somebody for promotion, and instead of them promoting it on their timeline, or you just like, yo, shout out my OnlyFans, shout out my Twitter, shout out this, and they said, all right, and you know, they got like a fucking couple mil followers, and then they post your shit off their Twitter, bro. Like, how, how fucking poor are you going to be then, bro? Like, you ain't making shit. Like, and that's the issue. Like, bro, you ain't going to make shit if... You know, you don't get your shit seen. And that's the issue. Like, bro, all these artists paid him in hopes that people would see their songs and start supporting them. But the issue is, is these shits are on mixtapes. These aren't even actually promoted. And it's not like Shad Moss is out here being like, yo, check out this mixtape of these dope artists. He ain't saying shit about it. He just, he just charging you to put up this mixtape that no one's going to listen to. And like, bro, I just got to say, man, like the shit is corny. And, uh, you know, if, if the game and Bow Easy want to scam artists, that's cool. But, I mean, I would at least get sca scammed by the game. Because it's at least, like, if the game did post, you might get a little clout. But, Bow Weezy? You thought you was going to clout up off Bow Weezy? Like, bruh. What you trying to do? What, what you doing, bro? Like, you could have dropped that link to Reddit. And probably got more fucking subs, more views, more fucking followers you could have dropped it to twitter fuck you could have tagged brawl busting babes and i might feel sorry for you and retweet that shit but you know that's just the, the thing man it's like these motherfuckers just don't get it and it's just like bro how, why are you gonna let why, like of all people to trust for your promo you trust in bow Weezy? Like, if, if you gave Bow Weezy a rack and ended up getting scammed, in one way I feel really bad because I know how hard it is to get a rack. Like, like your boy been struggling out here. I understand the fucking power of a rack. Like, I need a couple racks. If you got a rack, go ahead and send it to me. I mean, it's literally more useful sending me a rack and at least me benefiting it than you sending Bow Weezy a rack. Like, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll uh... I'll put your song in my fucking video. We'll, we'll start doing like some Jamari and... I don't... Actually, no, I don't think it was Jamari. I think it was Hello Ascend that used to do that shit. But I don't know, man. We'll, we'll throw you in the title. You know, we'll let you... You could be my intro song for like a rack. You know? And if not, then I'm gonna just get that Stone Cold Steve Austin intro. But yeah, you, bow easy, bro. You, get, you just need to stop. And if you don't stop soon, no one's going to care because, like, honestly, like, you can scam all day. I mean, honestly, I think at this point, everyone's just kind of just like, oh, my God, this fucking cornball. But, yeah, bow, bow wow, bro. Like, you got to get the smoke, too. Like, I can't just pick on game. Like, you you a cornball just like him. And uh, I hope, hopefully none of my other, I was going to say none of my favorite rap, other favorite rappers, but yeah, Bow Wow, you're definitely not one of my favorite rappers. You're pretty fucking trash. I'm trying to think of like one good song I've heard with Bow Wow and like, I can't even think of it. Like, I don't know, man. Fuck, fuck Bow Weezy. But you know what? You know what I don't fuck? And that is, um, I don't fuck with, uh, Crunchy Rock. I'm just kidding. I totally do. I fuck. I fuck with crunchy roll heavy. It's something you should know. Crunchy roll gift cards are on J list and Play Asia or no Play Asia. They got them. I think J list has got them too. So fuck it. Check both. But either way, man, there's plenty of fucking badass anime shit that you can get from, you know, J list. And here's the thing: J list, unlike Bow Weezy, will deliver on their promise. So when you order. That real hip 5,000 flashlight, that shit's coming in the mail. 
when you order that Super Sonico figure, that shit's coming in the mail, and that shit's gonna be busty as fuck. When you order that big titty anime mouse pad, I'm gonna slap it on the titties twice and then ship it to you. Because that's what we do at JOS. We make shit happen. And you know what, Bow Weezy, you're a bitch. And I hope one day, when you're bankrupt as fuck, hopefully you go bankrupt before me. So that way at least I can have the internet long enough to fucking see the whole shit show. I want to watch you burn. Because you fucking did it to yourself. You, you scam people for no fucking reason, up and comer artists. When you should realize how much of a struggle it is for an artist. Like, if anyone should be sympathetic, it should be you. You should be trying to, like, do some management or something. Like, actually trying to help some artists. Because, like, really, you're not very talented. And your career sucks balls. So you might just want to find somebody who has a better career. And they can actually make some shit pop off. But no, look at me. I'm Bow Weezy. And I'm just scamming everyone. Well, you know what you could do? You can scam these nuts on your forehead. And hit that like, subscribe button, and comment below.